ジャパンタラベル TV」Welcome to Japan. We're in Narita Airport, probably the place that you're going to be landing to. You're going to be going into Tokyo Station, jet lag, and tired. And Tokyo is humongous. Or you might be going to Shinjuku, one of the busiest stations in the entire world. I'm going to show you how you can save up to 1500 yen on your first ride to Tokyo by taking the Narita Express. Let's explore this place a little bit. So, this is where you're gonna come out out of the North Ring arrival. You'll be coming out of this North Ring through that exit there. And take the bus to Tokyo, which is super easy. Just walk right across, and there is an orange counter that says Limousine Bus. To get into Tokyo, it's 3,000 yen one way, and you can choose all sorts of stations and stops. And they speak English, so you guys are very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Another way, just follow me down here, and you take the subway to Tokyo. Just follow the instruction for JR. All right, what you see here might be shocking, but no worries. All right, because. I'm your guide today. Now, when you come here, don't go for the blue, blue lines. Instead, go for the green JR. There's a place here called JR East Travel Service Center, and they have a, a bilingual staff that will assist you in purchasing your discount Metro card. Excuse me, we call it Suica card. So, what is Suica Card exactly? Well, nobody knows for sure, but from what we can gather, it's pretty amazing. You can even buy airplane tickets with this thing. Suica Cards, like its sister card, Pasmo, is a stored value card. Not only can you use this thing at almost all trains, buses, and taxis we can think of, you can even use it at vending machines and convenience stores. And you know what's the sweetest thing about this card? You never have to worry about staring at the Japanese metro map trying to figure out how much it costs to get to your station. It calculates the fares all for you. So, it's just touch and go. To get to Tokyo Station from Narita, it should cost you 2,940 yen. However, you add the purchase of the Suica card. For 2,000 yen, which includes a 500 yen deposit, what you're gonna get is the whole trip is only going to cost you 3,500 yen. Boom, we just saved you $15. Hey, hey, Japan Japan Travel TV, you saved us a bunch of money. But keep in mind, this place closes around 8 to 9 p.m., depending on which terminal you arrive. But if that happens, No worries, you can just go up to that regular ticket counter, which is here, and there's another one on that side too. So once you purchase your ticket, you just go ahead to the JR of、uh, the, the train station there and get on. There's even a Starbucks here if you want to get your first Starbucks in Japan. Although it's calm here now, once you get to Tokyo or Shinjuku or Shibuya, it is busy. You gotta know what you're doing. So, before you get lost in the crowds here, make sure you know where you're going and you got your、uh, address for your hotels booked on a piece of paper. Because this is not the place where you w a n t to get lost for the first time in Japan, eh? So, if you w a n t to take a comfortable, slower ride, take the bus. If you w a n t to save some money, which I recommend, and get the, the bonus, the, the card,、um, take the JR and、uh, you'll have a great time in Japan. So, thanks for checking out Japan Travel TV. Adios, amigos. Say a lot. Japan Travel TV. Please subscribe.